Hello and welcome to the third episode of Grape Escapes with Cold Storage. My name is Fiona Stevens and I'm the beer, wine and spirits buyer for Cold Storage and today's theme is movie night. Now, I'm sure like me, you've had a fair few movie nights over the last month or so, and I thought today it'd be really nice to just bring you a selection of different wines that would be really great just to curl up on your sofa, enjoy a great film, and enjoy a really lovely glass of wine to go with it. First on my list today is this fabulous Pinot Noir Rosé from Spy Valley, uh, a family-owned winery that are also sustainable as well. They are based in the Waihopai Valley, uh, which is in Marlborough, New Zealand. Many of you would have heard of Marlborough because they're very, very famous for their Sauvignon Blancs, but I urge you try their Pinot Noirs and their Pinot Noir Rosé as well. The reason why these wines are so great is because this region has a very long ripening season, which means that the grapes have the chance to create all of the lovely flavours, but also it manages to keep the acidity and freshness as well. Now, this is evidenced in this wine that's got really great ripe strawberry and raspberry character, but it's also got really gorgeous little notes of stone fruit and uh, freshly cut herbs and also this fresh zing of grapefruit as well to keep it all very lively and energetic. This is absolutely delicious just by itself, but it's also got the structure and the complexity to match with fish dishes and some vegetarian dishes as well. James Suckling gave this 90 points, and this is normally only $34, but we've actually got it on special at the moment for 29, so all the more reason to grab a bottle and give it a try. Now, second on my list today, I wanted to bring you something a little bit different. The producer is Chateau Saint Roche, and the wine is Chimier, which is from the Cote de Roussillon region. It's a loads of lovely heat and sunshine, so you get a lot of beautiful red wines that are really delicious, that have got lots of concentration of flavour. Now, this in particular is a blend. It's got Grenache as the lead, so Grenache brings a lot of really juicy red fruit character. It's then got Syrah, as they call it in France, and this gives a little bit of structure, a little bit of black fruit, and a real lovely bit of sort of cracked black pepper kind of flavours over the top. And then lastly, there's Carignan in the blend as well. Now that gives a little bit of kind of meaty character, a red fruit, and a little earthy note, so a bit of savoury uh, sort of character to interweave between the other grapes. Now, all together, that creates this delicious, smooth, velvety wine, which is very versatile. So it's great with sort of grilled and roasted meats. Um, you could have this with chocolate with your movie as well, if you're one of those people that quite likes dark chocolate with red wine. Jeb Dunnock gave it 93 points. It also won a gold in the Decanter World Wine Awards. And best still, it's normally $40, but at the moment we've got it on special for $30. So I would urge you to pick up this unusual but fabulous wine. Finally, I wanted to bring you a slightly richer style of New World to complement the lighter Pinot Noir and then the um, Old World wine that we had before. This is from Wins, famous Australian producer, uh, famed for setting up the region of the Kunawara in the south of Australia. Now, this region creates really fantastic expressions of premium Cabernet Sauvignon, but a more medium bodied style. So they're slightly more elegant and aromatic than the slightly fuller styles of McLaren Vale or Brossa that you might be familiar with. So this cooler sort of style that is drawn by the, um, the influence of the Southern Ocean gives a real fresh blackcurrant note to the wine, followed by some really delicious sort of eucalypt minty notes, dark chocolate notes, and some sort of bay leaf herbaceous notes as well. James Halliday awarded 95 points, which is absolutely fabulous. It's drinking beautifully now, but you could pop it in a decanter or a glass a little bit before you're chilling out and watching your movie just to open up those delicious flavours. But it's also got some um, ageability here, so you can cellar it for a little while if you're that patient. Now, normally this is $48, but we've actually got it for $40.50 at the moment. Very versatile, can go with those sort of dark chocolate uh, things that you're gonna maybe have with your movie, but much, much better with fuller flavored red meat dishes. 
absolutely fabulous expression of Cabernet Sauvignon and I think you'll love it. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Grape Escapes and some delicious interesting and varied options for your movie night or for your Netflix box set marathon that I'm sure some of you are doing. I really hope that you try these wines and that you give us feedback but also that you let me know if there's anything that you'd really like me to cover in these um, episodes of Grape Escapes. I hope you enjoy these, I hope they help you relax on your sofa and I'll catch you next week for the next episode. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.